Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Galvin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create my nursing educational videos to help nursing students or nursing professionals like you with their studies. If that is something that you are interested in, please make sure to subscribe now, hit that notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that will really help me know that you like to see more contents like this. Without further ado, you guys, let's jump into the video. Hi everyone! Kumusta kayo? Isang panibagong Friday lecture nga ang alay ko sa inyo for today. Ngayong araw na to, nako, pasensya na kasi gabi natin sisimulan yung klase. As you can see, this is a little bit uh, late for today's upload. Kasi normally, I upload my videos in the morning. But now, I'm actually doing an upload uh, at this time. Only because I made a, a really thorough uh, study and thorough research about this subject topic that we're going to be talking about today. And as you can see on your monitor and as you can see on the title of this video, this is all about mechanical ventilation. Mechvent, mechanical ventilators. Yes, this is another entry natin sa ating nursing procedures and skills. Kung hindi mo pa napapanood yung other nursing videos I created under this playlist, kung saan I have created lecture material sa mga common procedures and skills na tinatakil natin sa area, sa schools, related sa nursing, I'll be putting the actual playlist link on the description box or whenever the icon button pops out. Click that one out because I'll be putting it there together with the other playlist I have on nursing education. Ngayon, before I further proceed, gusto ko lang magpasalamat kasi, you guys, we've been really, really growing so fast. For the past couple of days, you guys, you have no idea how much we grow and how much new subscribers we have on my channel. I would just like to congratulate you for showing up for today's class. And kung bago ka sa channel na to, hello sa iyo, hello sa inyong lahat dyan. Maraming maraming salamat po sa patuloy na pagsuporta at pagtangkilik nyo sa ating YouTube channel. Kung hindi ka pa nagsusubscribe, magsubscribe ka na. Ayaw mo magpahuli kasi... Every uh, three times a week nga po akong nag upload ng mga le uh, lectures and discussion. Ibig sabihin nun, three times a week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays po tayo magkakaroon ng class discussion dito sa YouTube. So tuloy mo na yung pag-subscribe at pag-hit ng notification bell so that every time I upload, you will be the very first one in the class. Okay? And also, um, I would just like to uh, uh, tell you to keep on sharing and supporting my channel by uh, sharing, liking my videos, commenting, because that will really help to, you know, increase the, the popularity of the show, the popularity of this classroom. Um, so that everybody, anyone that you know, someone, uh, your friends or your relatives or family member na nagtatake ng nursing, ay talaga namang ma maalaman nila na may ganitong klase ng uh, YouTube channel na nag -e exist tayo. Maraming maraming salamat po ulit sa patuloy niyong pagsuporta. I am really hoping and keep on crossing my fingers na sana this month, hopefully in God's will, at sa tulong nyo na rin, eh, ma-hit natin yung 20,000 mark. Yes, I am so happy. Our class is actually growing you guys. And I would just like to invite you to please follow me, connect with me in all my other social media platforms. I have basically everything. I have a, all the links is on the description box. Don't worry. So click that one out. Follow me. Connect with me. I also have a Facebook page. This video presentation, this lecture, and this class discussion is going to be available also on my Facebook page. It's Neil Galve. And I have a podcast channel. It is 3 a.m. Conversation with Neil Galve. It's available on Spotify and Anchor. All the links is, like I said, on the description box. Now, this is an exciting and very juicy discussion because we are going to talk about mechanical ventilation. O, pauna. Pauna na. Ilike mo na to pang, pas pang paswerte. Sa lahat ng mga ICU nurses na, o, yeah, ICU nurses na, What's this? Um, Nakajuti sa ICU. <laughs> this is a common mechanical uh, medical device 
that we normally encounter in the area. And I would just like to share to you my research and um, some of the common settings and to really get to know the mechanical ventilation to the core using this uh, video presentation. Ngayong araw, yun ang ating title. Yun, uh, title, yun yung ating topic for today. Isn't it exciting? Exciting, hindi ba? Mag-proceed na tayo. For today nga, like I said, we're going to discuss mechanical ventilation. And let me share to you the objectives for today's discussion. Here we go. So, in this uh, lecture, we're going to discuss the following. What is mechanical ventilator? We're going to answer that question. We're going to have the classifications, the indications, the contraindications of your mech vent, variables of mechanical ventilation, and ventilator modes. Very important. Handa na ba kayo? Handa na. Hinga, hinga ng malalim, hinga ng malalim. Eto na tayo. First up, we are going to answer what is a mechanical ventilator. Here we go, nurses. Makinig ng mabuti. A mechanical ventilator is a positive or negative pressure breathing device that can maintain ventilation on oxygen and oxygen delivery for a prolonged period. It is a machine that assists uh, the client in breathing. Now, usually, the client is intubated before... Uh, he is connected to the ventilator. An endotracheal tube or tracheostomy tube is connected by oxygen tubing to, a, uh, to the ventilator. If the client has evidence of respiratory failure, huh? makinig na mabuti, or a compromised airway, endotracheal intubation, and mechanical ventilations are indicated. Ano on ulit yung indication? Pahapyawan natin tong indication kasi mamaya tatalakayin natin sila in detail. Ano yon Kapag merong evidence of respiratory failure or, or compromised airway, intubation and mechanical ventilation are indicated. This clinical evidence may be co uh, corroborated by a continuous decrease in oxygenation, yung ating partial pressure of oxygen, an increase in arterial carbon dioxide levels, yung ating PaCO2, and persistent acidosis, ang tinatawag nating decreased pH level. Now, mechanical ventilators were traditionally classified according to the method by which they supported ventilation by two general categories. Ano-ano yon Negative pressure and positive pressure ventilators. Don't worry kasi sa susunod na slide yun na yung ating discussion. But once again, this is the medical definition of your mechanical ventilators. Malino ba yon? Malinaw. Eto na. We're going to discuss classifications. So like I said earlier, there are two general categories of your mechanical ventilator. Ano yon Negative pressure and positive pressure ventilators. Don't worry kasi tatalakayin natin sila, hihimayin natin sila for today's video. Eto na. First up, we are going to discuss, makinig ha, positive pressure ventilators. So sa mga susunod na makikita nyo, th these are under the category of your positive pressure ventilators. I-discuss ko sa inyo, ano ibig sabihin ng positive pressure ventilators? Positive pressure ventilators or PPVs inflate the lungs by exerting positive uh, pressure on the airway, pushing air in and forcing the alveoli to expand during inspiration. Endotracheal intubation or tracheostomy is usually necessary. Sa mga positive pressure ventilators, kadalasan binibigay ito sa mga naka-tracheostomy at naka na pasyente, nakatubo. Normal na term sa atin, mga tubong pasyente, okay? So, ano, ano niya? Anong mode of action niya? Uh, PPVs inflate the lungs by exerting positive pressure on the airway, pushing air in, and forcing the alveoli to what? Expand during inspiration. Okay, ito na sila. Ito na yung mga klase ng ating mga PPVs, positive pressure ventilators. Kakasunod pa ba? Ito na. Volume cycled ventilators. Ano to? Volume cycled ventilators o yung VCV, these deliver a press uh, preset volume of air with um with each inspiration. Once this preset volume is delivered to the client, the ventilator cycles off and exhalation occurs passively. The volume of air delivered by the ventilator is relatively constant. 
Iyan ang ating volume cycled ventilators. Ano naman ang pressured cycle ventilators? Makinig nurses, ha? When you say pressured cycle ventilators, when the pressure cycle ventilator cycles on, it delivers a flow of air until it reaches a preset pressure and then cycles off and expiration occurs. Kailan nag-a-occur ang expiration kapag nag-cycles off ang ating uh, preset pressure? Yan ang nangyayari sa pressure cycle ventilators. Ano naman ang high frequency oscillate uh, oscillatory support ventilators? Hinga ng malalim, baka ma TMI kayo. Huwag masyado magpapa TMI, absorb mo lang at balik-balikan mo tong lecture na to. Balik tayo. High frequency oscillator su oscillatory support ventilators. Ano to? These ventilators deliver very high respiratory rates, up to 180 to 900 breaths per minute. Very high, huh? That's 180 to 900 breaths per minute that are accompanied by very low tidal volumes and high airway pressure. These small pulses of oxygen and rich air move down the center of the airways, allow allowing alveolar air to, ex to exit the lungs along the margins of the airways. Once again, that is your high-frequency oscillatory support ventilators. How about the non-invasive positive pressure ventilation? Yung tinatawag nating NIPPV. Okay? So, NIPPV is a method of positive pressure ventilation that can be given via face masks that cover the nose and mouth. Nasal masks are other or other oral or nasal devices such as nasal pillow. NIPB, NIPPV eliminates the need for endotracheal intubation or tracheostomy and decreases, uh, decreases the risk for nosocomial infections such as pneumonia. So, kadalasan sa mga pasyenteng hindi, hindi, hindi kaya yung tubo-tubo, for some contraindications, ang binibigay natin ay NIPPV. Kasi it, the, the, yung delivery nito is via face masks. Isa sa mga advantages nito ay yung um, tag dito, yung uh, 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 what's this? Uh, advantages nito ay yung um, malayo sa risk yung pasyente to have nosocomial infection such as pneumonia, uh, hospital acquired infection. Pressure controlled ventilation with pressure support, the most comfortable mode, eases the work of breathing and enhances gas exchange. Once again, you guys, these are the examples of your positive pressure ventilators. We have your volume cycle ventilators, pressured cycle ventilators, high frequency oscillatory support ventilators, and of course, your non invasive positive pressure ventilation or what we call NIPPV. Malino ba yon? Malino. Mag proceed na tayo. How about, so kanina diniscuss natin yung positive pressure. Now, we are going to discuss the negative pressure ventilators. Diba may dalawang categories tayo or classification? Classification ng iyong uh, mechanical ventilators. Positive and negative pressure. Okay? So ngayon, tinatalakay na natin yung negative pressure. Wag malilito. Classification lang to. Okay? Ah, uh, ito na. So, let me discuss to you what are, paano mo masasabing negative pressure ventilators? Negative pressure ventilators or NPVs are applied to the thorax and abdomen to achieve lung inflation by distending the rib cage and abdomen. NPVs are not used as often as PPVs, but many hospitals utilize this method for patients with acute respiratory failure until the Copenhagen polio epidemic in the 1950s. Okay, so that's just a brief uh, background and definition of your negative pressure ventilators. Now, iisa-isahin na natin ano-ano yung mga mech vent na under sa neg negative pressure ventilators. Ito na yung una, iron lung or tank ventilators. Now, these are large sealed horizontal cylinders or tanks in which the patient lies with their head protruding from the sealed or from a sealed opening at one end of uh, the tank. The lowering and rising of air pressure in the cylinder caused the patient's chest to rise and fall, stimulating inhalation and exhalation through the patient's nose 
and mouth. Once again, that is your iron lung or tank ventilators. Next, you have your cuirass ventilator. I'm not really sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I probably butchered that one out, but that that's how you spell it. Cuirass, cuirass ventilator. Now, what is this all about? Now, a much smaller version of the iron lung, this ventilator is known as a chest shell, turtle shell, or tortoise shell ventilator. This, ventila uh, this ventilator only encloses the patient's torso and is sealed around the patient's neck and waist and is depressured and repressured by an external pump or portable ventilator. We also have your exovent ventilator. This ventilator is a modern device similar to the Cuiras ventila uh, ventilator. This NPV was uh, developed in 2020 in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Diba? Exovent ventilator is a type of your NPV, negative pressure ventilators, recently discovered in 2020 due to COVID. Okay? Now, we have your last one. Type of your negative pressure. NPV is a jacket ventilator. Now, also known as a poncho or raincoat ventilator, this NPV is a, is a lighter version of the iron lung or the cuirass ventilator made from an airtight material lined inside with a plastic or metal grid, a suction pump, and a back plate that goes to the patient's hips and depressured and repressured by a portable ventilator. Once again, these are the examples of your NPVs. Okay? So, tapos na tayo sa ating classifications. We discuss about your positive pressure ventilators, your P, uh, P, uh, PPV, and now we also have your NPV, negative pressure ventilators. Ito na tayo. Let's proceed. How about the indications? What are the four classic indications of your mechanical ventilation? Wag mag -alala. I got you guys. Ito na. So, we have four classifications or four major indications of your mech vent. Kanino ba natin binibigay yung mech vent sa mga pasyenteng may anong kondisyon? Eto na, una, apnea. Breathing that stops from any cause is called apnea. Apnea, apnea, absence of breathing, right? Kanino pa? Sa mga pasyente may acute respiratory failure. Acute respiratory distress syndrome, yung tinatawag nating ARDS, occurs when fluid builds up in the tiny elastic air sacs. Yung tinatawag nating alveoli, kung saan nangyayari yung, lung exchange, uh, yung gas exchange. Tama? Uh, the fluid keeps your lungs or the patient's lung from Filling with enough air, which means less oxygen reaches uh, uh, the patient's bloodstream. This deprives the patient's organs of the oxygen they need to function. Kaya binibigay siya sa may mga uh, acute respiratory failure sa mga ARDS. Kanino pa natin siya indicated sa mga pasyente may impending respiratory failure? Failure. All right. So, patients with CNS impairment or respiratory muscle weakness have feeble gasping or irregular respirations and paradoxical breathing movement. Patients with foreign body in the airway may choke and point to their necks, exhibit respiratory strider or neither. All right. So, sa may mga impending respiratory failure, nakalimuta ko ilagay respiratory failure, pero yun na yun. Okay, yung may mga irregular breathing pattern, paradoxical breathing movements, gasping, nagfe-feeble, sa mga mga strider or strider ang art. <laughs> strider, okay? That's one of the indications. Next, we have your severe refractory hypoxemia. Nurses, makinig, refractory hypoxemia is a common problem encountered in patients on mechanical ventilation for acute respiratory failure. Acute respiratory distress syndrome, yung ating ARDS, is a common cause of refractory hypoxemia in patients with acute respiratory failure. Once again, these are the indications of your MECVENT. Magproceed na tayo. Contraindications. Bago ko i-discuss yung contraindication, nakakaya naman sa'yo kung hindi ka pa nagsasubscribe. Mag-subscribe ka na at hit mo yung notification bell. <coughs>
Sorry, I just choked right there. Huhu, let's proceed. Eto na nurses ang ating mga contraindications sa Medyo marami-marami po ito, pero don't worry, I got you. Hihimayin natin sila, okay? Magalala. Hindi mo ibibigay yung MECBENT o hindi ka mag administer ng MECBENT sa mga pasyenteng may ano, intracranial pressure, increase ICP more than 15 millimeters of mercury. Ano ba ang normal value ng iyong, um, uh, what's this, ICP? Ang normal value niya sa adult is normally great or less than 15 millimeters of mercury. And pathologic intracranial hypertension, yung ICH, is present at pressures less than 20 millimeters of mercury. ICP is normally lower in children than adults and may be sub-atmospheric in newborns. Next, we have your recent facial or oral or skull surgery. Hindi mo siya ibibigay sa mga, mga maxillofacial uh, uh, injury. Yung mga, tawag dito, wasak yung muka. Sa mo'y kakabit yun? Diver. Hindi mo rin siya ibibigay sa mga pasyente yung may trach- tracheoesophageal fistula. Alright? Ito po yung example na may mga tracheoesophageal fistula. Okay? Hindi mo rin siya ibibigay sa mga may recent esophageal surgery. Active hemoptysis o yung pagsuka ng dugo. Nausea. Okay? And also, air swallowing. Now, i-discuss ko lang sa inyo. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng air swallowing? Aerophagia, in medical term, is a condition where a large amount of air are swallowed. It occurs most often in people who are very anxious or who have mental health problems. But it, uh, it is also seen in teenagers who want to show off their ability to burp loudly. So, air swallowing. Next, we have your another contraindication is active untreated TB, tuberculosis. Alright? Contraindicated din siya sa mga pasyente may radiographic evidence of bleb. What is bleb in medical term or in medically? Ano ibig sabihin ng bleb nurses? A pulmonary bleb is a small collection of air between the lung and the outer surface of the lung. Itinatawag nating visceral pleura. Usually found in the upper lobe of the lung. When a bleb ruptures, the air escapes into the chest cavity causing pneumothorax. Meron akong discussion, medical surgical discussion regarding pneumothorax where hinimay natin to. Panoorin mo siya, nasa under siya ng medical surgical playlist. Okay? Air uh, pneumothorax, which means air between the lung and the chest cavity, which can result in collapsed lung. Ano pa? Contraindication siya, lastly, sa mga pasyenteng may hiccups o yung singulation. The strong inspir- uh, inspiratory effort does not result in the large change in lung volume. due to reflex glottic closure and therefore in normal subjects the ventilatory effects of hiccups are minimal in intubated or tracheostomized patients hyperventilation and respiratory alkalosis uh, may happen resulting in hiccups once again these are the contraindications of your mech vent take a pictures eto na siya eto na nurses Variables and mechanical ventilation. Sa mga susunod na slides, o sa susunod na slide, we are going to discuss abbreviations, terms, and definition. Ano ba yung mga common abbreviation and terms na may encounter mo every time you are handling or once you are handling a patient that is connected to MECVENT? Importante na malaman mo to para mag-make sense sa'yo. So, mag ka kasi abbreviation, term, and definition ito, Okay. TMI na ba? O, oh, hingang malalim, kumuha ng tubig, kumuha ng kape, kung nasan ka man ngayon, if you're listening to me right now in the middle of the traffic, or you're listening to me while you are reading, making your notes, or just simply before you go to bed and sleep, um, I just want you to absorb and balik-balikan mo lang kung hindi mo nakuha ng unang pasada. Okay, no worries. Kasi I'll be dividing this um, the video into chapters kung sa Facebook mo ay kung sa YouTube mo siya pakikinggan may mga chapters po ito dun sa gilid okay may area kang hindi mo na natandaan balikan mo lang okay so eto na variables and mechanical ventilation eto na siya ready na ba kayo eto na ang table yay o di ba <laughs> Huwag mag-alala kasi isa-isahin natin sila. Huwag kang uh, ano, gagalaw dyan. So, makikita mo dito. Change ko lang. Sa slide na to, tatlong column. 
Okay, we have abbreviation. These are the common abbreviation that you will encounter sa mga pasyenteng nakamekvent. Ito yung term, yung full definition ng term, at ito naman yung definition nila medically para mag-make sense sa'yo kung ano ba siya. Okay, so unahin natin to. PEEP. What is PEEP, nurses? PIP. Peak uh, Inspiratory Pressure. Some of these abbreviation, by the way, you have to document that on your vital signs based on your SOP sa hospital. You have to monitor that. These abbreviations, these terms, these terminologies for MECVENTS, you have to document that um, on your nurse progress notes. So makinig. Document that and also upon endorsement, upon receiving the patient, pag ine-endorse mo na, monitor mo ito mga terms na ito. Kasi... Uh, kailangan yan mag-reflect sa nurse's progress notes mo. Okay, so importante to. So we have PIP, PIP. May dalawang PIP ha, yung double E, tsaka PIP na may I. PIP is, ang term niya, abbreviation siya for peak inspiratory pressure, which means maximal airway pressure. This means total pressure delivered used to overcome both respiratory system compliance as well as airway resistance. Some of PEEP, yung ating PEEP and IP, uh, in a pressure control mode. Once again, that is your PIP, PEEP. Meron naman tayo isang PEEP pa, yung PEEP, P-E-E-P, which means positive and expiratory, uh, expiratory pressure. Hindi and na A and D, and as in katapusan. Positive and expiratory pressure. This means pressure maintained at the airways at the end of expiration. The pressure applied to the lungs never drops below this value. One key term. Kapag nakaset yung pressure ng PIP mo, let's say PIP 5 or 10, the pressure applied to the lungs never drops below this level. Kailangan hindi siya mag-go down doon sa, sa setup. Kung paano mo siya na-receive. That is your PEEP. Positive and expiratory pressure. We also have your IP or sa iba makikita mo tong parang alpha sign P. Which means inspir- inspiratory pressure or delta pressure. Hindi pala siya alpha. Delta pala siya. Delta pressure. This is the difference between PEEP and PEEP. So, PIP minus PEEP. Alright? We also have your VT. Common ito. V- tidal volume. Tidal volume uh, volume of gas entering the patient's lung during inspiration. Hindi expiration. Wala naman nag enter during expiration. Hindi ba? During inspiration. Gano karami yung amount ng air, yung vol- in volume na pumapasok sa pasyente, sa baga ng pasyente mo during inspiration. That is your tidal volume. We also have your capital IT or yung inspiratory time. Time spent in inspiration can be set, example, during control breath or determined by the patient. Example, during spontaneous pressure support uh, breath. Okay? We also have your capital E. T, yung expiratory time. Time spent in expiration. Generally not directly set but determined by the set rate and inspiratory time. For example, a respiratory rate of 20 breaths per minute means each breath is 3 seconds. If time is set at 1 second, then expiratory time, or yung E time, is necessarily 2 seconds. Example lang yun. We also have your I is to E, meaning inspiratory is to expiratory time ratio. This is a ratio between your inspiratory and expiratory time. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Generally, expirations takes longer than inspiration. A typical ratio is 1 is to 2. May need to be much greater. Example, 1 is to 4, meaning 1 inspiration, 4 expiration count. With obstructive lung disease or high airway resistance. We also have your RR, common ito, respiratory rate. You also have to document that. Meaning, uh, it de- depends on the mechanism. Sometimes may 24, may 22, 26, mga ganon. 
So respiratory rate as set on the ventilator, patient will receive at least these many breaths per minute but can spontaneously breath above this set rate. Okay, magalala kasi kadalasan ICU doctor or respiratory therapist ang nagsiset ng mic vent. Okay, you just have to notify them for any changes on your mechanical ventilator. So importante lang na malaman mo to because you are handling your patient. You're checking this hourly. Excuse me. Hourly. And if you don't know the meaning of the abbreviation, it will never make sense to you. Okay? So, we also have your FIO2. Very important. Fraction of inhaled oxygen. That is the meaning. Fraction of inhaled oxygen. FIO2. Now, this means varies from 21% room air to 100% with less than 50% to 60% considered toxic. Tandaan, less than 50% to 60% of your FiO2 is considered toxic. Reactive oxy uh, oxygen species, free radical formation, etc. Historically, so, uh, sub a uh, ambient, hindi ko mapronounce yung ambient, sub ambient, example nito, more than 21 uh more than 21 uh what's this 21% of oxygen was sometimes utilized in the cardiac unit to help balance circulation reduce qp in favor of qs all right so next na tayo ps o yung pressure support Ang ibig sabihin nito, nurses, is extra pressure given to support the patient's spontaneous breaths above the set rate. Ano ang mga example nito? Instead of IP or set volume, they receive the set pressure support when they take their spontaneous breath. Once again, these are the common terminologies, variables, abbreviations, and their definition na makikita mo sa MECVENT, dun sa monitor. Okay, you have to be familiarized with this as well. Malino ba yun? Malino. Eto na. Last one, we have your ventilatory modes. Bago mag-proceed, baka hindi ka pa nagsasubscribe. I-share mo na tong video na to. Mag-subscribe ka na. Notif bell is the key to success. Okay? Kasi nga, wait lang, ma-share ko lang. Ah. Dami ko nang sinasabi, nag-vocalize lang ako. Pero ma-share ko lang. I just recently found out that you guys, 2,200 plus of you, actually hit the notification bell. And I want to congratulate you for doing that because and I'm really grateful because that means every time I upload, 2,200 plus students are with me and joining me every time I do my videos. You're receiving notification. Isn't it that great? Diba? Ang saya. Thank you po. Maraming maraming salamat. Okay, mag-proceed na tayo. Ventilatory modes. Itong mga susunod na slides, ito yung mga tatalakay natin, yung mga common modes na may encounter mo sa ventilator, sa mech vent. Yung modes na yon na nagsiset non, like I said, is yung RT and then, um, what's this, respiratory therapist or yung ICU doctor. But it's very important for you to know what are these modes para hindi ka naliligaw? Hindi, kasi i-record mo rin to sa nurse's notes mo. Every every now and then throughout your shift, you have to check it if it's within the ordered mode of MECVENT. Okay? So, eto na. Handa ka na ba? Mati-TMI ka, pero promise ko sa'yo, last na ito. Eto na. ta -da! So, let me share, let me dis dissect to you this table that I uh, made for you guys. On this table, you will see the mode, the description, the pros and cons, bisabin advantages and disadvantages na paggamit ng mode na ito, and major settings and examples, and what are the things that you need to monitor if your patient is somehow set up um, between this, uh, these modes. Okay? So, Meron tayong isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima, anim. F uh, six. Six common modes na maaari mo ma-encounter kapag nag-handle ka ng pasyente yung may mech vent. Meron tayong VC, PC, PRVC, SIMV, PS, and APRV. Iisa-isahin natin sila. Huwag ka mag-alala, ha? <clears throat> 
We have your VC for volume control. Tinatawag din siya sa ibang uh, hospitals na assist control volume. Sa ibang libro, makikita mo rin siyang assist control volume. But that is your volume control or VC. Makikita mo tong mga mode na to, nasa monitor to, nakalagay doon sa monitor ng McVent mo. Kadalasan na pang endorsement, ito yung mga unang-una mong titingnan. Kung ano yung mode ng McVent mo, makikita mo yung mode. VC. Ganyan. So, ano yung description niya? Ibig sabihin nito, every breath delivered, mandatory and patient-triggered is the same set of volume. Tidal volume. So, so ito siya. Meron siyang common description na time uh, is to uh, time over pressure over flow. Okay? So, for the... Uh, for the control, you have your volume, and L is for uh, uh, volume. Alright? So, this is your VC. Ano yung mga pros nito? Mga advantages. Good general purpose mode. Ensures a minimum uh, mechanical ventilator or MV is achieved. Good mode for long protection ventilation. LPV. Now, ano yung consequences? Requires you to monitor pressures to avoid barotrauma. Okay? So, what are the major settings or examples nito? RR, TV, PEEP, FIO2. Ito yung mga common things na titingnan mo kapag ang, may, ang pasyente mo is naka-VC. VC mode. Ito yung mga values na you have to be mindful kasi you have to check that. You have to put that on your nurse's notes and you have to monitor these values. Yung RR, tidal volume, yung PEEP na diniscuss natin kanina at yung FIO2, fraction fraction of oxygen. Tama ba? So, yes. So, these are the commons. 12 BPM for, uh, example non, uh, total volume 450 cc depende doon sa monitor. Plus 8, yan yung PEEP, or 60%. Ito yung mga nor example niyan ha. 12 cycles per minute, which is your RR, 450 cycles, uh, CC or ML, that's your tidal volume. Total number of air during inspiration, yung PEEP, kung plus 8 ba, plus 10, nagbabaris yan. FIO2, 60%. So yun yung, yun yung, yun yung common Como, yun yung example ng, uh, what's this, na documentation. So, ano yung dapat mong i-monitor? Yung pressures, yung peak and P-plat. P-peak and P-plat. Okay? Malinaw tayo sa VC control. Malinaw. How about PC pressure control? A.K.A. assist control pressure. Okay? Assist control pressure and PC, that's the same. Pressure control. Ano to? Every breath delivered, mandatory, and patient-triggered is set pressure IP for a set time T. So, example nito, itong T over pressure over flow. Yung C is to time and L is to pressure. Anong uh, pros ng paggamit ng PC? Good for limiting pressure. May be more comfortable for selective patient. Also can be used for LPV. Alright, wala naman silang difference when it comes to mortality rate. What are the cons? Requires you to monitor. The nurse is requires to monitor volumes to avoid volutrauma or hypoventilation. Alright, what are the major settings and examples? Sa mga major settings na naka-PC, ito yung mga dapat mong tandaan. RR, IP, T, rise time, PEEP, FIO2. Okay? So, example niyan. Example, paano mo yung makikita sa documentation mo? 12 uh, breaths per minute or cycles per minute. 12 CMHO2. 0.9 seconds, 0.15 seconds, plus 8 for your PEEP, FIO2, 60%. Alright? So, ano yung dapat mong i-monitor kapag naka-pressure control ang pasyente mo? Volume. Tidal volume. Yan ang mga dapat mong i-monitor. Okay? Eto na tayo. PRVC. Pressure Regulated Volume Control. What is that again? Pressure Regulated Volume Control. PRVC. Mode. 
Okay? So, hybrid PC mode that um, that dynamically changes inspiratory pressure to deliver a desired volume. Kadalasan makakita, makakita ka nito, PRVC, uh, PRVC, VC. Dalawang mode. Pinagsama, hybrid PC mode that dynamically changes inspiratory pressure to deliver, uh, to deliver a desired volume. Ano mga pros? Guarantees TV total volume, a uh, tidal volume, but delivers pressure-controlled breaths. Example, low risk of causing VLI, which potentially may be more comfortable for patients. Anong disadvantage? In patients who are struggling, example, high boob, this mode will provide less support. How are you going to, what are the major settings and examples? So, meron kang major settings mo niyan sa mga PRVC, RR, to a TV, tidal volume, uh, time inspiration, rise time, and uh, P max, P max or maximum pressure, and then PEEP and FIO2. So, ganito mo siya makikita, ganito mo siya document. 12 uh, breaths per minute, RR, tidal volume 450cc, uh, time of inspiration 0.9 seconds, Rise time, 0.15 seconds. Maximum pressure, Pmax, is 30 uh, CMH O2. And yung PEEP mo naman is plus 8. FIO2, 60%. What are the things that you have to be monitoring? Pressures and volumes. Okay? Once again, that is your PRVC. How about SIMV? Yung tinatawag nating synchron, uh, uh, synchronous Intermittent mandatory ventilation. Synchronous intermittent uh, mandatory ventilation. Okay? Ito na. We have your, what you might call this, uh, it describe natin siya, delivers mandatory breaths with a mixed volume but patient can trigger. Patient breaths are not the same as mandatory breaths. Can use PS. All right, or yung pressure support. Now, what are the pros? May be useful for patients with hiccups to avoid akalimia. Okay, uh, alkaline in blood. Next, what are the consequences? Seldom used. This is not commonly used. Not effective for weaning. Often found to be uncomf uh, uncomfortable. So, what are the major settings and examples? RR, TV. PEEP, FIO2. These are the things that you need to check if your patient is on SIMV. Example, 12 uh, breaths per minute for your RR, 40, 50, uh, 40, 50, 450 uh, cc for your tidal volume, plus 8 for your PEEP, 60% FIO2. What are the things that you need to monitor? Pressure, peak, P peak, and P plats. Okay, next we have your PS or yung pressure support. Uh, all breaths are patient initiated. Ventilation determined solely by patient. No backup rate. All right, what are the pros? Ideal winning mode used in SBTs and uh, uh, and for prolonged periods. Most comfortable because it allows patient to control ventilation. What are the disadvantages? This does not guarantee a rate. Need to monitor to ensure adequate ventilation. What are the major settings and examples for your PS? We have your PS, your PEEP, and your FIO2. Now, example, plus 10 sa yung PS, pressure support. PEEP, five, uh, plus 5, 40% FIO2. Now, you guys, you need to know that PS is about PEEP, so 10 over 5. PIP, 15 uh, CMH2O. So what are the things that you need to monitor? Your tidal volume and your MV. Okay? MV. Next, last one na tayo sa mode. We have your APRV. Tinatawag nating airway pressure release ventilation. What's that? Airway pressure release ventilation, a.k.a. bivents. Okay? Now, Description. 
it, uh, it reverse ratio ventilation example eye time inspiration time less than expiratory time that allows patients to breathe spontaneously or greater than sorry greater than expiratory time this allows patient to breathe spontaneously can combine with ps so what are the pros great for ARDS acute respiratory distress syndrome patients who are spontaneously breathing example are not on NMB okay now uh, complex in terms of the consequences complex mode settings risk for VLI if settings are non are not done properly does not make sense if on NMB so what are the major settings and examples for your APRV airway pressure release ventilation you have your T high T low T high, a P high, P low, and F I O two. Example nito. For your T high, you have 5.5 seconds. T low, 0 0.5 seconds. For your P high, you have your 25 CMH two O. For your P low, you have 0, point, uh, 0 CMH two O. And your, for your F I O two, 60 percent. What are the things that you need to monitor? Volumes and gas exchange, P C O two and E T C O two. Okay. Woohoo! That was mouthful. Ang haba nitong discussion na to. <laughs> o oh, ba? Very juicy nga. Diyan na nga, natatapos ang ating discussion for today. Thank you so much for you guys for watching. For if nakaabot ka dito, I would like to congratulate you for making at the end of this uh, lecture, this discussion, this class for today. And uh, I hope you learned something about mechanical ventilators as, as I did. I really had fun doing this lecture material for all of you guys. Balik-balikan mo lang ha. Alam ko napaka TMI nito. Napakaraming information. But I promise you that I will divide it into chapters. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. You let me know if you have other nursing topics that you want us to do. You comment it down below. Abangan yung nga po yung next series of videos natin for next week's class discussion. It's going to be Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I see you again. Same time, same channel next week. Okay, guys? Now, tulungan nyo na nga ako. Ipamalitan nyo na sa Radyong Sira ang pinakabago, pinakafresh, at pinakalibring nursing review center sa balat ng YouTube. Don't forget to follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gave except for my TikTok account, which is Neil Gave Official. I have a Facebook page. It's Neil Gave. I have a podcast channel. It's 3 a.m. Conversation with Neil Gave. All the links is going to be on the description box. I wish you guys to have a very well, very enjoyable, and grateful weekend. And yeah, I'll see you again next week. You have a good one.